Hey guys, so uh, here I am. Uh, it's uh, a day after PAX, and um, I just want to show you all the stuff I got at PAX. Uh, just let you know, this is not really about bragging. Uh, well, maybe it's a little bragging for people who didn't go, but it's more of like uh, a checklist, if you will. Um, like of the stuff, the stuff I I know I didn't get everything, and I kind of wish I did because there are a few things that were pretty awesome, but they're also uh, like luck games, so a bit like spin and win, and all the other type of um, like uh, what's it like wheel spinners, chance games. Yeah, I didn't win all of them because I, I and heck I didn't even do all of them because the lines were so long, but uh, this is more of a, like uh, what you could have got if you went to this year's packs and um. Uh, in my opinion, last year's pack was a bit better because um, it's just uh, you didn't you didn't have to do too much to get free items. This year, you had to like play the game in order to get items, which is fine. It's just that it's just the lines were too long for most of them just to do simple things and to obtain little things like bags or posters. So um, yeah, uh, this is a checklist, not a checklist. I just, this is checklist. I gotta stop saying that word. Anyway, this is just basically about what you couldn't got at pa uh, what you could have gotten at PAX this year if you went. And if you did went, leave me a comment or a video response of what exactly did you get that I didn't get, just so I can be jelly of it. Okay, so um, there are stuff that are around me that I do not have with me currently, but I did get it. It's just not with me right now. Like right now, I want to show you what the badges look like for this year. Um, I just don't know where they are. I uh, I um I went with a big group of friends and big group of people, and um we got we didn't get the Sunday pass, but we got the Friday Saturday and we got the three day pass. The Friday pass is I think believe black and white. The uh, Texas is in black. Um, we got the Saturday pass, the Saturday pass, the Texas is in uh, white and oh, I'm sorry, the Saturday is in red and white, and the Texas is in white. I don't know what the Sunday look Sunday one look like. The three day one is very. Very glossy, very hollow, not holographic, but very glittery, really nice looking. So that that was cool. Um, well, we'll, we'll just let's just go on. Um, this is the cover to um this year's info book. Uh, the penny or KP wall on there, as you can see. Uh, I think you can see. Yeah, there you go. And then on the other side, uh, is the kind of a uh, advertisement for Orc Must Die too. Yeah, or for that or for that too. Uh, I I think I remember reading that now it has co-op where you can be the sorceress, which is this woman right here, and of course the original guy from before. So, from Robot Entertainment. Huh. Otherwise, this is just an information book about packs. So yeah. Okay. So this, let me take the stuff out of this swag bag. Uh, I I took a I took the original stuff out of the swag bag, so I don't know exactly what you got, but I can kind of like just give you a guess. Um. For some reason, I remember the information book not being in there, unlike last year. There wasn't any League of Legends skin, um, exclusive skin in the swag bag this year. Um, uh, there, there was one this year, just not in the swag bag. Because uh, last year, I remember obtaining Jack's packs. So um, this year, uh, this year's swag bag, uh, the uh, Magic the Gathering. Ooh. It, it, it's it's a, you, know, you know one of those backpacks things. Yeah, see. All right, so. Uh, I think Nico Bolas. I'm so probably pronouncing that name wrong, but Nico's there. Nico. That's good enough for me. Yep, it's Nico. And then on the back side is, uh, like, you know, the icons for the, I think the most recent pack. I don't remember the name, but Nico Horns are on it. Du -du -du -du. Yeah, so this is really cool. I actually, I actually like this one. This was definitely a cool plus. Cool plus. So now you know when Magic the Gathering is there, you know, you, you obtain one of these bad boys. Came with this right here from Cryptozoic. Um, it's a, it's a sheriff, right? A sheriff with a donut shaped sheriff, and he has a brick badge. Yeah, uh, drop by the Cryptozoic Entertainment booth four eight four to enlist in the battle of food fight. Three exclusive promo cards. Check out the new food fight iOS available for download through iTunes. You can also stop by booth four eight to download the brand new expansion for the food fight card game, food fight snack attack. By picking up your copy here at Pax East, you receive three exclusive promos. So, yo, he looks actually pretty cool. There are some really disgusting ones. Like, look, um, from the promo cards, I'm not sure you can see see it right there. You probably can't. But the first one, Aunt Butterface. Like, Aunt Jemima, 
And then the, the word butterface, if you look it up in Urban Dictionary, it's pretty hilarious. The other one is humping dumpty. It's humping, not humpty. Humping dumpty. So, what a, what a smut. Oh my god. Hum, humping dumpty is, a, is into SNM. He has a whipping letter attached to him. Uh, the third one is Cheeky Royal, but I can't make anything clever out of it, so enough of that. Okay, so with the swag bag uh, came a Magic Gathering uh, deck box. I didn't open it yet, actually. I have Jace Bellerin. So this is the this is the blue one. Uh, that's so that's the Magic Gathering that you get from the swag bag. Uh, this one right here. This is a uh, a was it more a cutout? I guess a cutout where you place them together. It's an image of that D, uh, the D and D character. Um, she is a, uh, a spider. You know, half spider, half, uh, whatever the other half is called. Human, mm, evil witch. Anyway, so this is a, 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 a box cutout where you can fold. I don't have the instructions to me, and I'm pretty sure I can do this without the instructions. We'll see. Uh, well, I'll see. We'll, we'll attempt to file this. It's uh, more of a, a not, more, not life size, because it was so much bigger than you. But it was a bigger, like, sculpture of her, just like attacking your face so that was i thought that was pretty neat okay, okay so this free D, D online uh card gives me the winter wolf pup and that's pretty much it and i will try out this game i will i actually have a, a bunch of those mmos like uh free trials or get premium membership or get free stuff when you play the game so i was gonna do all that later um here are here's the crown Nico's corn crown right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it together because this is really nice and I don't want it to unfold. Um, yeah, this was part of the swag bag. I I am still I'm still on the swag bag. So here's this is part of the swag bag. I converted one of the the dance central bags um because it was a bag in the bag in a little small pouch. But well, I used a small pouch to place all my um you know my pins and this one, um Kaijudo, Kaijudo the card game, Rise of the Dual Masters. Swatch Web and Kaijudo.com um there's a pin right here is where watching web that's pretty much it so yeah pretty cool i got a bunch of cards from all the booths i just took one just you know uh to keep count of what exactly i saw oh, okay terra terra online that that was actually a pretty fun game um terra paxi gives a uh, pax east giveaway regal frost lion mount open beta access starts on april 20th uh at 12 p.m p Pacific, so it'd be 3 a.m. in my time, right? No, 3 p.m. in my time. Uh, redeem code. This will end for. Huh. Okay, so beta is between the 20th and the 23rd, at least I think. At least the code is um, good between those times, and you get a, you get a um, what was that? A mount. Eh, you get a terror mount. Earlier, you get a free copy of Rift. Crazy, right? Look, <laughs> look, it's like. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's a, I, I think this game is monthly subscription from um, uh, one of my friends that uh, went to PAX. He played it for a little bit, and yeah, I want. I wonder why it's free. I wonder. You get the free uh, Rift game. Uh, I believe it comes with a one month free subscription. So uh, I will definitely try this game out. I will be playing a lot of MMOs the next week. Boots and Pup. Whatever this is, there are a bunch of exclusive cards in there. Let's check it out. Hmm. Trading cards, limited edition series one, seven cards. So, uh, why did you show you with the cover of the seven cards behind it? All right, so, all right, here, here's the cover that I just showed you, and here's a mini checklist. Yeah. Um, tile. Okay, so apparently, uh, the first card zero was title checklist. Then there's boots. And there's boots. And there's pup. <laughs> There's flow, flow. Why does it sound so familiar? Flow. She okay. It's like she's a mix of a Lila, Lila. Yeah, Lila from a Futurama. And flow. Why does it sound so familiar? Flow. I feel like that's a Disney character name. The boss. The boss. I think the boss is the green guy next to a pup. No, no, no. Wait a second. The boss. Oh no! The boss is just the computer desk. It's just the computer. No, computer desk. The, the, the desk right there. You see? There's a um. I'm gonna get a little closer. Yeah, look, the boss. <laughs> there's like a um, like 
what's that called? Like a title on his desk saying that he's the boss. Oh, that's so funny. Pup is the green guy, my mistake. And Boots was the um, was the blue guy with the antenna. Here is Sniffles. I will just assume that he has a sneezing problem because his name is Sniffles. He is a piranha from the Amazon. And this is Leroy. He is a earthworm. I guess you get it. He like he's a he's on Earth, so I mean like he can walk on it like us with a, a hat that doesn't attach to him. Bull bowler hats. Raiders. Raiders was a very nice game too. I also played Neverwinter. Uh, they were never yeah Neverwinter. That was really really awesome. But I like Raiders because it has one last syllable, and uh, it was much easier to say when they were doing the raffle ticket. I didn't I did not win, but I kind of did. I kind of did wish I win. Because uh, you could have won a, a GTX 560 from NVIDIA, a, a, a six, uh, 6870 Radeon, um, a Logitech keyboard keyboard and mouse combo. And then the second one was a Logitech headset. So that was two different sets. Uh, a alien headset and mouse is uh, the other one. Was the other one. And an actual Scout backpack. I, have no idea. I didn't see that one, really. But So when you were screaming out for the raffle, right? You had to do like... Who side you on? Raiders. Another one was Neverwinter. I'm like, damn, that is just too much more syllables for me to care about. So Raiders, all I want to say was Raiders. So, um, Raiders was the first game I played from, I think it was uh, Perfect World Entertainment. So P W E. A P W E, right? I think it, I think it was. So, all right. So Raiders, join beta, code, play Raiders. Uh, it was actually a really nice game. It, it felt really smooth. Uh, like fluid, very very nice, very nice uh, fluidity, good flow, kind of redundant what I just said, but it was a really nice game. So here's the here's that. And cover the joint beta because I do want to play this game. There's the backside of it if I'm not blocking good, most of the good information. Uh, actually, you know what? I have no one, and I guess I guess with all the duplicates I have, if you want it, I can give it to you. Um, I think I just flashed you the code just now. Anyway, if you want it, I can give it to you. Just uh. Yeah, you know, at the end of this video, I'll let you know how you can do that. Okay, alright. So, um, alien weird advertisements. Before I go on, are there any more stuff? Yes, there is more stuff. I believe this came with this fag bag as well. It's a D and D online, and I believe it's one of those like dice pouches. So, um, uh, yeah, it says a D and D online D D D O under dark. I believe what maybe this new expansion or something. I have no idea what's going on there, but this is the pouch. That's uh, I got these really cool shades, really cool shades. My brother, my brother. Um, I actually saw my brother with almost a similar pair, and it was it was in white. I was gonna say, I was, just, I, I was wondering if we're not costing a lot. It probably did, but versus this, oh man, I'm gonna take off my glasses. Versus this, oh man, look pretty cool. So um. I got this and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, uh, what was it? You, you're given like these like canvas bags. Canvas bags, yeah. You're given these canvas bags just so you can hold your stuff that you um obtain at uh, uh packs. And uh, you're given a, a black and blue one. I have the blue one somewhere. I just don't know where is it is. Is this the blue one? Yeah, here's the. Here we go. All right, so this is the canvas bag ish. Yeah, so you you know you use it because you uh, when you obtain items at packs and you will obtain a lot of stuff at packs. You use this to carry it just in case you didn't have anything with you. So uh, I got I'm right, gonna show you the logo one time. I got a this is the blue one of Dance Central too, and I got the I got the black one as well. Yeah, you're giving a, a little stuff. Oh, in addition to the sunglasses, of course. Um, I gotta switch now because I'm blind. I got this really. <laughs> Really, really adorable penguin keychain right here from uh I don't know the company, uh company has some Chinese text on it. I can't read Chinese text anyway. Uh, it's from Tencent Boston. Oopsies, Tencent Boston. Oh here you go. Actually, here's, here's his the sticker right here. Um, Tencent Boston TCB. So I guess ten ten cent and then B for Boston. So yeah. Oh, he's a little wrinkled, but yeah. Um, this is. From S P S F S P F S P uh total power solution. Um I got this brush. Basically like okay, is it for my face? No, it's not for my face. It's for cleaning out I guess the dust way um stuff in your computer. 
case. Uh, I I guess I got from S uh, what FSP, but um, I think I remember having to like them on Facebook and then uh, then registering my email. So that's why I did for this one. That's what I did for this one. It's because you got a Fury case. Exclusive collectors Bobble Buds, and it's the Street Fighter X Tekken edition. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna, I think I'm opening it up. Alright. Ah. Uh, this is Kazuya. Alright, cool. Oh, his head is spherical, so it's not gonna be like the shape of his um, shape of his hair. So that's disappointing. Alright. Cool, yo. Alright, so um, I got I split his head open. See, split his head open. And let's see. This is that his back? No, this is his back. So alright, and then you put this here. Put this here. And oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, babe. It's possible I did it wrong. But yeah, look. <laughs> it's so funny. I think I did it wrong. I think it's because he has such a long neck. And. Oh. Eh? Come on. Come on, lad. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, see, this one's better. See, the, the, the luck. The, the luck. The neck is not, you know, as long. Oh, it's Ryu. Oh. Versus, versus Kazuya. Which I horribly put together. Uh, uh, I don't know. This one, this the, the point of it is to be a bobblehead, right? So I mean, this one is definitely a bobblehead versus this one who's just stiff as hell. I'm just gonna do the little stuff now. All right. So I play Wakfu, the online game, and that was a really fun game. It is a turn-based uh, MMO, uh, turn-based strategy, I guess, strategy MMO, um, RPG, of course. And this is supposed to Wakfu when you uh. When you uh, tried the game from Square Enix, uh, so yeah, I kind of wish they didn't give me a folded poster because, uh, yeah, that's just sad. But it's okay, you know. What? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plop it because you no, know, Walkthrough actually looks like a really sweet game. The the portals that they, they use, it actually looks like Stargate. Looks like a freaking um, what's that? I haven't watched it in a while, but it basically yeah, it looks like a Stargate. So yeah, it was really funny. I'm actually gonna try a little bit. Um, rough ass. Um. They had Central 2 bands. Oh yeah. Throwbacks. Throwbacks. That's another one. No. They're they're I they're like groups in here. This one is Decipher. Decipher with a heart symbol on it. This one is Dance Central 2 with Flash Forward and Forward being the key idea, so you know. Uh let's see. Here is the Black Dance Central 2 bag that I said. Black Dance Central 2 bag. Um, here is the. Okay, wow. Well, you can't. There's no way you can read this on camera. Um, it is. It is the Glitterati! Okay, you know what? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch! <sighs> It is the glitter eye from Dance Hunter 2. It's a silver attack. I can't, I don't think you can see it. Um, yeah, these were actually free. I didn't have to play these. I play these. I didn't have to play for it. Um, I have to play for the shades and the bags. So, all right. Here oh, here we go. Here we go. I have a bunch of cards. I have a bunch of ridiculous cards. All right, there you go. Let me get this one out. You didn't see that, right? I kind of wish I remember there was a lot of indie. Uh, this this year there were uh, sixteen indie booths. I'm lying. There were like a crap load of indie booths. Actually, there were like maybe over forty games of indie booths. Forty booths of indie games, rather, and um, and some of them were really nice. I had to listen to like all of them, but I mean, I I could I I got the gist to most of the game. Um, there was I and I'm. It sucks that I don't know the name of these games, but the one I remember like just now is um, uh, Girls Like Robots. That was really funny because it was one of those like games you used to play at elementary school in order to understand pattern and puzzles where you notice that a certain particular character, well in this case, the girl likes being near robots. So you will want to place her like next to robots, but it's not, it's, it's, it's a little bit more like, like if you're given two robots, if you're giving five seats, two robots, and three girls to optimize the total happy because the idea of them being next to each other gives you happiness po happiness points. So you put them right next to each other. So you put girl, robot, girl, robot, girl. Just so that the happiness is equal and my brother woke up to go to work. Uh, 
Pop Cannibal was one of the indie booths that I visited. I remember that their game was fun. That's why, and I took the card just to remember. I think their game was fun. I think I I did not I did not purchase any shirt, and I kind of wish I did because there were really there were some really nice um clever like collaborations. It's like um, I wasn't I wasn't gonna buy this, but there was one where here you go here it's actually right here. It's nice. Okay, I wanted I want to get this T-shirt, and it was at Pax. I swear to God, when I evolve, I'm going to fucking kill you. And the fucking is like the like like bleeped out. And his magic card from Pokemon. So <laughs> once again, I swear to God, when I evolve, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's pretty clever. It was fucking. It's fucking clever. Anyway, so magic card, right? I believe you're you're given this in swag bag. I'm not sure, but you get a free copy of the game. It turned out it's a dollar game. You get a free copy of it. And it's since I have the game, I guess this would just go towards the stuff. That I'll be give to you guys. Oh, when um, here is the Xbox Live coupon. When you go back and um, uh, okay, there's there's a assembly line in order to obtain your swag bag because they did not hand that out while you're in the queue line waiting to get into the ex exhibition halls at ten o'clock. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of people, so it'll be kind of really hectic to make sure everyone got a swag bag. So um, they did a assembly line afterwards. So later in like a few. Like an hour or two, another line will form just to obtain the bag later. And in those line, well, you get a free Xbox Live Gold membership one month, and there was a bunch of them, and I took a crap load of them. Oh, I ended up spreading out to my friends, but I took maybe, I think, five, and I don't need them, so they're gonna go in that pile. Mm. The Square Enix um, punch out um, kind of like thing you have to do, you know, you have to play the six new games. From Square Enix, it was actually on like almost every system: 3DS, uh, PS3, Xbox. But those now those two are like sharing games constantly from Square Enix. Actually, are is there any Square Square Enix games on Xbox? There have to be, right? The Cloud Connection. The six games from Square Enix, and uh, you get a punch out, and you can turn it in, right? You get this really cool, um, this really cool like like font. It's Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV uh, journal book. It's really nice. Uh, and it's a journal. It's basically a journal with a uh, tag. Oh! Wow, each each journal, each page is imprinted with like some sort of weapon in Final Fantasy XIV? I guess so. Each page, I, you can't see it. You know, I don't think you can anyway. But each page is imprinted with like this, like an image. Oh, you can see it actually. Oh, great. So, and like each piece is imprinted with different things. That's really cool. Knowing how I am though, I'm probably not going to touch these pages at all. And this will be part of my collection. The old map. Is this in Final Fantasy XIV? I don't know. Final Fantasy XIV is the on, on, online game, right? I think it's an online game. So, yeah. What is this? Oh, I think this is part of the Final Fantasy uh, stuff. A journal book? It's the poster of the map. Yep. Along with that journal came with... That wasn't the second item. I didn't, actually didn't know this was there until I opened the book up. Um, along with the second item, you get tarot cards from Square Enix. And the cards are from Tactics Orger. Um, Let us cling together, it says on the box. And the tarot cards. Okay, so tarot cards. Ah, the fool. These are these, no, these are legit tarot cards. They're, n I mean, they're they're the 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 um, drawings are tactics orger inspired, but they're they're the same. I'm not sure if all the tarot cards are there because I don't know how many there are. I think there's fifteen, there's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Where's the twenty-one tarot cards? I don't know. I don't do those stuff. But yeah, okay. Let's. I'm gonna do it one by one. Here is the fool. I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure you get the light in that one. So fool. Um, the magician, the high priestess, the empress. Oh yeah, the emperor. Some of these don't actually don't look that cool, so I'm probably just gonna show you the good ones. Uh, the lovers. Ooh, that was that was really really cool looking. The lovers. I think the female is on the left. Well. She will be on the right now, I think, and the males on the, the, the tan males on the left. Chariot, 
Oh, strength looks awesome. I give you like no time to see chariot because the strength looks so cool. Um, the hermit. No, not really. Wheels of fortune. Yeah, well, yeah, we, we, we was a fortune look cool. That's a fortune look cool. Um, a a a a woman's wearing I believe blinders, and there's like donkeys on the wheel right there. So, if donkeys me lucky, then I'm a jackass. Uh, justice that looks okay. The hangman. Uh, you would think it, it's morbid, but it's actually not that bad. The the guys are literally like hanging from like like he's upside down. He's hanging from the tree. With like his legs like wrapped around the tree branch, so it's not you know gruesome at all. Depending on what you do, that's pretty gruesome. Death card always looks cool, no matter what genre. No matter what genre. Temperance looks really nice. The devil. Oh, oh no! The devil taking advantage of that woman. The woman is not, not doesn't have any free will. Oh no. The tower. Yeah, the tower. The stars. Uh, the moon? Oh, the moon. The moon. A beautiful woman in a dress in front of a, a eclipsed moon. In front of an eclipsed moon. Eclipsed moon? Can moons get eclipses on themselves? No, not really. <laughs> um, of course not. It sounds silly. Anyway, it's just not a full moon, so. The sun. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Judgment and the world. Hmm, okay. That was pretty cool. When I think of tarot cards, I think of Binding of Isaac. So, I mean... Well, yeah. I think of Binding of Isaac. So, so I got this pink chainsaw uh, right here. Hmm? Uh, it's from Lollipop Chainsaw. And I actually had to wait two hours for this. For a five-minute gameplay. Uh, that it was, it was really bad. Two hours. I can't believe it, too. But uh, the game was actually pretty good. Uh, it had a comic book feel. It felt it felt a little generic though. It felt like like there's, there's nothing new to the game really. But it it was fun in the sense that you know I I, I love killing zombies. And uh, it's <laughs> it, it's it's a it's a white girl with blonde ponytails and a tube top holding a chainsaw. I think I'm sold. I think I'm sold. So yeah, this is what I got from uh, playing over there. I follow the packaging, but I got this League of Legends like inflatable bottle. Yeah, you you put liquids in it, and then it become bottle a standing bottle. And then when you're done with it, you can fold it up. Uh, the material is pretty disappointing because I'm scared using it. I don't want to like uh, destroy it uh, after you know so many uses. But yeah, this is a inflatable bottle from League of Legends. They were they actually passing these out. They're they had a spin and win competition where you spin gear and sword, I believe, and then you know whatever image it falls, you can you know, get the item. People got Teemo hats. Oh, ah, god dang it, god dang it, that was that really made me jealous. I wanted a Teemo hat. Chances are I wouldn't tip my head, but I still would want one. He's bent a little bit, but I got the Mundo mask. I can't wear it because I took I took off the strings right here. But yeah, I got the Mundo mask. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It says on the back, send your pictures of Mundo going where he pleases to Mundo packs and Riot Games. That was pretty hilarious. Sega was uh, at the convention as well, and they were celebrating Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I believe it's the 20th anniversary. I have the pin somewhere. Uh, here it is. The pin is right here. Oh yeah, it says uh, anniversary 20th Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty cool. Uh, along with that, um, you can get... A free PAX Tails hoodie for your avatar for Xbox Live, and that was pretty cool. I don't think I had. I don't think I have another one of these. Cause I will. You can get both a female and male code. I'm not sure if they. If you use one, you can't use the other. But yeah, I'm. I'm obviously gonna use the male code. So if you, if someone wants the female code, I don't mind giving it to them. Crap, little ant lanyards. Uh. Um, the default layer that they give you PAX is the one by Behemoth. It, it says Behemoth, and then it says PAX. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Anyway, the other, the the next layer is the one from Cyborg Gaming. Cyborg Gaming. Oh. You see it right? Cyborg Gaming. Uh, what type of layer is it? It has a detachable clip. Done. It has this right here with, with a um kind of like a. A uh, Caribbean, uh, like lock clip, whatever. That's all. That's all that is. 
And the, the League of Legends one, they were passing these out. You can actually get this, this from Spin to Win. And they were just passing it out. So I was actually really lucky to like get these League of Legends stuff. Just by them passing out and not doing Spin and Win. Because the Spin and Win line was really popular. It constantly closed. And it was just a lot of people there. So League of Legends. Uh, here's the tag. League of Legends. And around around the tag is, uh, you know, just the rifts colors. And then the, the rune colors. Excuse me. Runes. Yeah. No, don't worry. Blue. Just, uh, glyphs are there. See? Glyphs are there. Uh, what the type of lanyard it is? It's just a clip-on lanyard. With, uh, you know, the one with the side of so. it. Uh, Zoltak. Zoltak. I actually did not get this. I think got this. I think one of my friends gave it to me. Alright, so Zoltak. Here it is. Simple. Uh, pretty simple lanyard. Uh, Zoltak uh, logos right here. And just uh, it's black and white with the Zoltak stripes. Uh, the type of lanyard it is. It has. A, it's a clip-on lanyard. It's a, actually actually it actually was really difficult for me to. Yeah, it was actually it pretty. Yeah, it was actually pretty difficult. So it has that right there. It's also a detachable lanyard, like that, with like so, with, <laughs> with a Caribbean latch, and whatever this is, oh man, <laughs> they had so much more to offer in the old lanyards, <laughs> it's just not as appealing, but still cool. I think it's time for the posters, oh I think it's time for the posters, alright so, let's see, this poster, oh. This poster is Street Fighter X Tekken. This poster is Street Fighter X Tekken. I don't know if this is a good range, but I will do my best. Street Fighter X Tekken. That was my stomach just now. Uh, if I can read it backwards through the paper, it says, Will you cross the line? Oh, those bitches are so clever. So clever. Uh, I believe it's Vega, Akuma... Uh, Ibuki Gaio on the left. Uh, Yoshimitsu, Law, and Yulia. Yes, yes, Yulia. I know it's Yulia. But yeah, then it's uh, Jin. That's it. That's poster one. The next poster is Resident Evil Operation uh, Raccoon City. I have not played this game yet. I did. I did test out. It over at um, a PAX, it felt really, really. If I can use it, janky. It felt really, really ghetto and bad. Here, Resident Evil: Operation Raccoon City. And I, I, I did video reviews, and I was like, I love every Resident Evil game, so I'm gonna try this game first. And it, Raccoon City wasn't, wasn't really. Yeah, this wasn't for me. If it is popular right now, it's probably because it's a new game. And I hope it, I hope it does do well, but I don't, I just don't think it's gonna last that long. The servers anyway. So here it is. Uh, the next one is Dragon Dogma, and Dragon Dogma, I don't, I did not show you yet because I don't know where my. Actually, I don't have the shield on me because I, um, my cousin has it, and he also went with me to the trip. He, the, they, they're giving out these shields, like these like life-size shields of like a traditional um, large shield and it has a dragon dogma, it was a cardboard, it was a cardboard cutout. And here is the game, Dragon Dogma. I did not, I did not try this game out, I did watch Capcom present it though. I think it's made by Capcom, because it was at the Capcom booth. I think it was made by Capcom. So here it is, pretty legit. Pretty legit. From what I can tell through the poster, um, I see an archer, an axe wielder, a sword and shield, and a mage. From the creators of Resident Evil 4 and Devil May Cry 4. Hmm. I don't I don't know if it's an MMO, but uh, it looks like a pretty legit game. So, can you imagine the next Marvel's Capcom? They will be on it. Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. This is my Terra poster. This is my terror poster. Okay, so wait, I think I think open beta was twentieth, April twentieth, to April twenty three. And then it comes out it comes out on May first. So this is my terror poster. Yeah. I bought Street Fighter Encyclopedia just because I I know so much about the game but at the same time I don't know anything about the game. So yeah. I bought the book. So Street Fighter Encyclopedia, pretty cool book. Um I get to know 
everything about the character. I didn't, I didn't know some of the characters really, to be honest. Like, I had never played some of the early versions of Street Fighter, so I may miss out on the characters there. Also, the artwork is pretty cool, so that's why I bought it. Bam, that's the Sakatidia. I also bought um two magic decks. Right. Yeah, I bought two magic decks. I don't have the 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 casing of the decks, but yeah, I bought two magic decks. Uh, one, it's called it's called the the Johnny versus the Nico ba uh Boles series, I guess. Yeah, so I bought this one. And then I bought this one. It actually came together. Uh, it's it was like a dual set. So uh, twenty dollars for was it? I think two two full sixty card decks. So yeah, that was pretty cool actually. Uh, I I bought a Wheatley keychain. It, it very, it's very similar to a flashlight that you will buy attached to your keychain. So oh, I don't want to aim it too to the camera, but yeah. Oh oh wow. Hey, I'm not even holding it anymore. And then you turn it back off. Oh yes. Oh yes. So that was the flash. Ooh, that was the, the weekly flashlight. So yep, ooh, that was pretty cool actually. Okay, so um, I think the last item I bought, I didn't buy too many stuff because I didn't want to spend too much stuff, is a portal bookend. Is that hilarious? Isn't this hilarious? I, I thought this was so clever. Oh man, now I gotta start collecting books. It, it's just a segue of me buying other stuff. Oh, for certain stuff god dang it anyway i got portal bookend that's pretty much it all right so in order okay what i have to give away if you guys really want it i have a free game of magica a one month free of xbox live a an obey access for terra that's only good for uh, april 20th in the week so hopefully you guys see it i have two of them actually two terra passes and one Raider pass. Yes, I have five items. You have five items. If you want any of these five items before they expire, of course, um, just, just be sure to subscribe and just uh, just let me know what exactly did I miss if you went to PAX. And if you did not go to PAX, just let me just say what would you do in order to go to PAX next year. For 2013. Don't forget to subscribe because uh, for you and me, it's a win-win. And uh, like this video. Also give me a video response or leave a comment below what exactly you receive as well. Okay? Bye.